viewers, a hearty hello to you. Welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Joining us again today is Ms. Nancy Robinson, the fantastic author of Around the World Vegan Style. This 312-page cookbook is enriched with 250 meals and 700 recipes, all entirely vegan, with no animal additives, and all are absolutely delicious. The plant-based recipes range from popular Asian entrees like Korean bulgogi to treasured desserts like Australian pavlova. Yesterday we got a visual sampling of Southern hospitality, vegan soul food, very unique to America. Nancy taught us how to make sausage biscuits, which are now ready to come out of the oven after baking. We learned how to use tofu to create a fresh and healthy scrambled tofu dish as an alternative to fatty, cholesterol-laden egg scrambles. And now Nancy will show us how to prepare the red-eye gravy that accompanies this traditional, vegan, and nutritious southern meal. And now we're back with the grits and the red-eye gravy. We're not going to cook these grits because I think everybody knows how to cook rice and it's really the same thing. Um, I use these quick grits or old-fashioned grits, uh, not the instant grits. And if you don't know about grits and you're wondering why they're called that, it's simply ground corn. Uh, this is white. You can get yellow grits also. And they're called grits because they're gritty. <laughs> So after you cook them, they're smooth. Three tablespoons of grits to one cup of water is for one serving. And that takes about five minutes. So of course you can double that or triple that or whatever in, the, in your microwave bowl. And while those are cooking, you'll have your sausage biscuits in the oven at the same time. So while those two things are cooking, the grits and the biscuits, then that frees you to scramble the tofu in your frying pan, as we talked about last time, um, and to make the red-eye gravy. So that's what grits are. They are ground corn, and they're very common in the South, not, not just in the South, but a very common breakfast item in the South. Southern United States, I should say. So if you cook them on the top of the stove, you might want to use a double boiler, and that way the water is in the bottom pot, the grits are in the top, and, or however you want to do it, and maybe they don't stick as much. Now, what goes with grits in the southern United States? It's red-eye gravy. And red-eye gravy is made uh, from the drippings and the little tiny specks from frying ham. And fortunately, we have vegan hams. And we have one right here, which is an Asian-made vegan ham. It, this one's frozen, but I did want you to see that these are in your Asian markets. They may be even be in some seven-day Adventist stores, but when it falls, you just slice it and fry a few. They're much better hot, of course. So, as you can see, you just put this sliced ham on just the plain biscuits that we talked about before, and you have ham biscuits. So, anyway, there are vegan hams, so please try them. And here's how you do red-eye gravy. First, you put about a tablespoon of flour in your frying pan. Remember, this is after you have fried the ham. And a little bit of uh, canola oil in the pan to stir it in. And about a tablespoon of vegetarian ham seasoning. This is called Better Life Vegetarian Ham Seasoning. This is all you need. And then you just add uh, the oil a little bit, stir it around in the frying pan. And when you have that stirred up pretty well and smooth, then you add the water, just 
gradually. Just add the water gradually till it's all mixed up. And we'll keep talking about this red-eyed gravy because if you don't follow directions for it, then your, your southern friends and family will be disappointed because they know what red-eyed gravy is. Now, when that's all smooth, and it's going to be slightly thick, red-eyed gravy is not meant to be thick. It's a thin gravy. So when you get all that smoothed out, then you're going to have some drippings from the pan that you fried the ham in. And you want to the, just pour those, scrape those into the pot. And you can see the little specks of ham in there. And that's what you want. That flavors it even more to have the little specks of the actual ham in the gravy. And you just keep stirring. Then turn the burner on low under your frying pan and let this cook for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And here's what's very important, at least to me. I don't add any salt to this. I don't add sugar, although some recipes call for it. I don't add anything else to it. It's, it's just not necessary. But anyway, you can, you can play with it. And in the end, if you have a redder ham than this one, such as the other one I told you about, which is actually red, and you have this deep red ham seasoning, your gravy will be red. And that's why it's called red eye gravy. So just remember two things. It's supposed to be thin, and the natural salt in the ham and in the ham seasoning is plenty. And if here's another thing. Um, if you want it even stronger, some people actually add coffee to this gravy. It makes it darker and stronger. Um, I, I like it just like this is, just with the three, three or four ingredients. And of course you want this hot, you want your grits hot, and your, you want everything hot, actually. to mention this. With your scrambled tofu in your big frying pan, you can make an omelet out of that too. You can just add some cheese or vegan ham or, or the sausage, whatever you want to. And when it's set on the bottom of the pan, just use your spatula, go around it, and you can turn it over to the other side. So you have an omelet. You can also make a quiche out of that same filling, add what you want to, bell peppers, onion, cheese, vegan ham, vegan sausage, whatever you want to. And you make a pie crust, just like you would with a dessert crust. And, and that's your filling. And then you put it in the oven and bake it for about uh, 375 degrees for maybe um, 30 to 40 minutes. So that's called a quiche. So there are many, many things you can do with tofu, of course, but um, with scrambled tofu, those are the three main things you can do. So I hope you've uh, learned a lot about uh, southern breakfast. This is probably the most common one. Um, the difference is that it's healthy. Everything is healthy. Uh, it's animal free. It's environmentally friend, uh, friendly. And it it just tastes wonderful. It, it just, everything just tastes like food should taste. <laughs> and there you have it, a typical Southern breakfast or brunch or even dinner. My son and I love this whole meal even for dinner. It, it's just so wonderful. And I want to add one more thing. If you want to do this for company and make a big buffet out of it, 
please add some fruit. What I do a lot of times is get those little decorated uh, toothpicks and put a chunk of banana, a chunk of pineapple, and a whole fresh strawberry on each one. Put them in a real bo pretty bowl and in the middle put a bowl of plain soy yogurt to dip the little fruit in and it's just absolutely gorgeous. You'll have a beautiful buffet. <laughs> you, you're going to eat it all by yourself. I'll just have one. <laughs> all right, he's going to taste a uh, biscuit. We have people from all over the world in this country. So that's what my cookbook is all about. But he is just thrilled that he can still be a soul man. And, and as we said, these are sausage biscuits. Uh, you can do ham biscuits. You can do all kinds of biscuits. And please be creative with your cooking. Um, I don't measure much and I don't read a whole lot, but, uh, it, but the cookbook is, is for everybody. And so I hope you enjoy this Southern soul food. And although it's, it's cold now, he's going to sample a biscuit at least. Okay, she already mentioned that it's cold, so it's not the same, but I will taste one of the yes. cold ones. Yes, we've had this before when everything was hot, so. I didn't have to taste one of these because I've had a few. <laughs> so it's very delicious, and this is a new introduction to many people, and especially Americans, with a soul food, like vegetarian eating, making it. You're quite welcome, and thank all of you for having me. Our gracious thanks to Miss Nancy Robinson for sharing these wonderful international vegan recipes that offer us a pleasant taste of home cooking. Indeed, we all love the comforting feeling of eating foods that we grew up with. And nowadays, with the growing abundance of delicious vegan foods and recipes, adopting a healthy, compassionate, plant-based diet has never been more enjoyable. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples, here on Supreme Master Television, wishing you a weekend filled with warm laughter, inner peace, and God's love. Nancy Robinson's 312-page cookbook, Around the World Vegan Style, with 700 delicious recipes, can be ordered on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and at AuthorHouse.com, 1-800-839-8640. details please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash veg. Mm -hmm.